Uh, this is Mr. Jarvis, and this is Homework Help for Monday, um, December 4th. And we're talking about a number of families again. So we have the ones family, and we're on a first name basis with the ones. Then we have the thousands family. Then we have the millions family. We divide the families by using commas. Now we're on the first name basis, so with the the hun the hun ones family. So if we had 342 ones, we don't say 342 ones. We just we're on a first name basis. Notice it doesn't end with a comma. But if I had 64,342, I have to say the last name because there's a comma here, and that's the thousands family. I have to say the last name. 64,342. Ones, you'd say, but you don't have to say that. Now, let me say if I, I want to write three million sixty four thousand three hundred forty two. I have to I have to families come in groups of three, so I have to put a zero in the hundreds place. They all have a tens, ones, tens, and hundreds place. So what did I say? I forgot how many millions. So let's just say six. Six million sixty four thousand three hundred forty two. So if I had wrote the number here, it'd be six millions zero in the 64,342 ones, but we're on a first name basis. So we don't say 342 ones. Okay. So when do we say, and notice I don't say 342. Notice I don't say 62,342. Why don't I say that? Because and means a decimal point. You say and, you're talking about a number or a portion of a number that's less than one whole, a decimal. Now let's talk about the decimal or the families. They don't come in groups of three. They come in groups of one. So we have the tenths family. Here's the tenths, hundreds, thousands. So, um, and if I have a number, if, I, if it is a number less than, less than one, I have to put a zero in the ones place, but let's get to that later. So let's say I had two and then the decimal point and point and decimal point two six. Okay, so I say the name of the number depending on which number is in the smallest place or the furthest to the right place. The numbers are getting, the portions are getting smaller the further I go to the right. Okay, further I go to the right, the smaller. Further I go to the left, the larger the number value. Okay, so uh, that's also important to keep in mind. So this would be two and 26. The six would go here, two, not two tenths, six hundredths. Two and 26 hundredths. This family, because there are two in here, its last name, this last name of the decimals is hundredths. Let me go ahead and do another one here. Well, let's say let's say I've had forty-three on a decimal point and two point two. Forty-three point two. It's in the tenths place. So I'd say forty-three and two tenths. Let me try another one here. Let's say I had it look like this. There is a zero in the tenths. And I did two here. This would be. 43 and two what? Hundreds. Let's do another one. Let's say I had this. This would be 43. And I had a zero on the hundreds and a three and a thousands. 43 and three what? Thousands. 43 and three thousands. Now let's do a little bit different. Let's say I had 43 and 56. 56 what's? The last number lies in the hundreds. So this is its last name, 43 and 56 hundreds. Okay, so hopefully you kind of got that. I'm going to do one more. Um, uh, let's go, I'll write it up here, 1,652 and 65. What? Place value is this. I say and because of this, 1,652 and 65 tenths, hundreds, thousands, thousands. So it's 1,652 and 65 
thousands. This is in the thousands place. Let me show you another one. Let's go 32 and 75 watts. Tenths, hundreds, tenths, hundreds. So 32 and 75 hundreds. We'll fix this up a little bit. Well, let's say it was this 32 and and let's say there's a zero on the tenth 75 how is this number different 30 let me write the other one and this one's different as a zero this is 32 and 75 thousandths so it's a it's a actually it's a smaller number these are the same as seven tenths so um and then one more thing to realize so we kind of talked about if I had if I run a number like this, like 362, and let's say I put a zero in the thousands place and a zero in the ten thousands place and a zero in the hundreds place, I'm not changing the value of this number at all. This is still 362. I could put all these zeros. It's not really proper to write these here. And we did some problems where we ended up with zeros to the left of the number. But it doesn't change the value of the number. It's not really proper, but it's not really incorrect or changes anything. This is 362. Likewise, if I have a decimal, if this is 362 and 25, let's say hundreds, and I put a zero in the thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and I kept planning zeros here, these aren't changing the value either. So I can put all the zeros I want to the right. All the zeros I want to the left doesn't matter. So just just something to think about when comparing numbers, okay? And then if if you remember, if I had um, thirty three, let's say thirty four ones is greater than is less than three hundred forty, okay? Because three hundreds is more than Three tens and four ones, three hundreds, four tens, zero ones. So with decimals, let's say I had zero point three tenths and four hundredths. This would be more than if I had zero and zero tenths, three hundredths and four thousandths. So we look here to the the net, the place value furthest to the left is the greatest value. So this is more than this. Three tenths is much greater more than three hundredths. Okay, that being said, let's take a look at our homework. So hopefully this is kind of making sense, these number of values, number of families. Let's go ahead and look at number two here. So I have my little number family chart up here. So I have zero, zero ones, and 902, what is it? Nine, two, three tenths, hundreds, thousands. So I really what I say is zero and nine hundred two thousandths or one whole. Well, I have I compare the numbers furthest to the left here. The one I have one whole. This is this number is actually less than one. And this is one. So this is greater. It's one. So how about this one here? Uh, zero and nine, what? What is this? Nines, tenths, hundreds, thousands. Tenths, hundreds, thousands, nine thousands, or zero and one hundredths. So I compare hundreds to hundredths. I have all zeros over here. So the one hundredths is actually greater than the nine thousandths. If I had one more thousandths, I'd have one hundredth, and then they'd be equal, but it's not. So I have one and five tenths versus one and, gosh, I can't even, 29,761 tenths, hundreds, thousandths, ten thousand, hundred thousandths. Well, all I really have to look at to see which one is greater. The ones are the same. I start looking at the left and I start moving to the right. This has a five in the tenths place. This has a two. That's greater. So start from the left, move to the right to see which one is greater. So I just, that's what I did here. Uh, start from the right, left, move to the right. One hundredth, zero hundredths. I started from the left, 
zero ones, one one. This one's greater. This one's greater. One five hundredths, two hundredths. This one's greater here. This is the greater number here. So let's look at. Uh, let's keep going. Number three. Oh, here trick question. Throwing in some fractions. Seven tenths or seven tenths. Well, obviously they're equal. How about this one? Seven hundredths or what is this? Tenths, hundredths or seven hundredths. Well, they're absolutely equal. Seven pieces out of a hundred. Eight tenths or eight hundredths. Hmm. How would I write eight tenths as a decimal? It'd be 0 0.8. So I'd start on the left, move to the right. I have a zero in the ones, zero in the ones, eight in the tenths, zero in the tenths. So this one is greater. Eight tenths is greater than eight hundredths. If I had a pizza cut into 10 pieces and I got eight of those pieces, that's more than if I cut the pizza into 100 pieces and got eight of those pieces. So let's keep moving here. Number four. So now I'm just asking you to write 563. So I can write that. I don't 500. Notice I'm not saying 563. 560. Oh, 556. I read that wrong. Glad you guys are watching. So, so for number 14, 556. And this is that and, and that's the, and 2300. So I have to write 23, and where does this three need to be? It needs to be in the hundreds place here. So this three needs to land here. So the two would be here. So I could just write it, and 23 hundredths. 556 and, the decimal point means and, 23 hundredths. I think that's all I got for you. No, ma'am, I have one more. Okay, oh, I have two more, four and, so I got the four. And means decimal, 102 thousandths. So I, I have to make sure if I, I write 102, this last decimal needs to be in the thousands place. So I can just write it. It takes up three spaces, so I can just write it as it is. 102 thousandths, four and 102 thousandths. Zero and two thousand. So on this one's a little trickier. So I have to write, whoops, I have to write two. And that has to be in the thousands place. So let me move everything over here. Okay, let me move back over here. Kind of got lost here. Uh, so I write, gotta write two zero. So if there's if it's a number less than one, you do have to write a zero in the ones place zero. And I have to write a two. Where do I put it? And that's last name is thousands. So I have to put that in the thousands place. So what do I do here to say there's no hundreds and there's no tenths? I have to put zeros there. So it looks like it's a zero and two thousand. Zero point zero zero. Two, two in the thousands place. Tenths, no tenths, no hundredths, two thousands, zero ones. Hopefully that helps. Good luck with your homework.